Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to... Anybody guess where I am? Panama City, here we go. So, I arrived here yesterday evening. And uh, now, I'm on a walk exploring the town, seeing what it has to offer. I think my number one goal, maybe not today, but tomorrow, is I want to catch one of them double-decker tourist buses that kind of take you around the city. I think that'd be dope. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of those buses, we're going to go cruise around the entire city, and uh, hopefully I can turn it into a good vlog. This city is honestly pretty amazing. Whoa, what the heck are those? Rocks and like weird shaped blocks. I bet you that was some kind of crazy engineering, that's for sure. Guys, this city of Panama City kind of gives me some uh, Miami vibes for sure. I'm digging it, I like it. It reminds me of like a, uh, like a Singapore of Central America. Wow, check that out. Oh my God. Low tide, I guess. All these boats are just stuck in this little harbor. I don't think that would be good for your boat, would it? For all you boat enthusiasts, tell me because I have no idea. Guys, how ironic that I'm sitting at a sushi restaurant right now and the sightseeing tour I was telling you about is right here. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. It just it just kind of worked itself out like that. So I think we're gonna give her a go. Maybe not today, but probably tomorrow. It looks kind of fun. I'm gonna walk down there as soon as I'm finished eating. And uh, also, you can see the bird scooters right there. They're right next to each other. Both of the things I wanted to do, just bam, bam. It was meant to be, dude. It was meant to be. Let's see how much it costs. Hello. Hola, como estas? Bien, gracias. English? Hello? Uh, I want to do a tour. Okay. It's the price. Okay. Uh, today and tomorrow, uh, $30 per person. Uh, today, $20. Esas son las estaciones. This is oh, the every, every place? Uh, the two, uh, two hours. Two hours. Two hours? Two everything? Hours. Yes. Okay. At uh, what time? And then I choose uh, So I guess you get to go to all these places right here. Listen right here. It only takes about two hours. Do you go to the canal? Panama Canal or no? See? See? Do you just look or do you stop and get out and look around? Oh, hey, yeah, look. There's the next one's uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Uh, what time is that? Oh, at 2. And then what time is the next one after that? 2 and then the next one, 3? Yes, 3. Okay. Yeah, 3. They pick up here? Okay, I will come back at 3 and then I can purchase when I come back. Okay. Just got me a bottle of Smirnoff, the smallest one I could find. Now, damn, what the hell is that? Now to find me a little conspicuous place where I can take some shots. I think it's time I dip into my bottle. What do you guys think? Here we go. That's not too bad. Nice and stinky right here. Panama's nice. It's a great city, but the waterfront is horrible. Oh wow, that's the Hard Rock Hotel right there. I didn't even realize. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at those two men hanging off the side of the building, cleaning the windows. Can you imagine being a window cleaner? Like, I don't know, 80 stories up, 
That is insane, dude. That would be a hell of a job. I wonder how much window cleaners get paid. Anyways, let's bust into this bottle of Smirnoff. Let's go smell like an alcoholic when we get on this thing. Guys, I'm gonna be shooting it straight out of the bottle, so I'm gonna be looking like a moron. Oh well, let's give her a go. Three hundred seventy five milliliters. Just drinking all by my lonesome. What a moron. Okay, guys, we made it on the bus, and it's kind of early, too. Hola. How are you? Fine. You need this? Thank you. Gracias. I can stay on until we come back to this yeah. spot? Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay guys, so should we sit in the AC? Nah. We need to go up top. With everybody else. The front or the back? Oh my gosh. That's tiny. Okay, we gotta take the back. I don't wanna annoy everybody, you know? All right, we on here. So I wonder if the left or the right side is the best. The right side? All right, I'm going on the right. <laughs> okay, we gotta go on this side. So I guess I'm staying on this bus for I don't know, until the tour ends, we're gonna hit all these places right here until I come back to this exact spot. All for $30. And we are off. I'm guessing the first stop after this is Parque Yuraka. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just going with the flow, buddy. Let's keep this day rolling. Well, we didn't make it very far. Plans for the people who are going to start the tour with us with with us today. Hours and a half, approximately, Franchi. until we come back to Port and a casino. Franchi. I gotta say. Buenas tardes, damas y caballeros. Los que recién nos acompañan, estamos yeah. al inicio a nuestro tercer y último recorrido del tour por el día de hoy. Here it is, the first stop, Yoraka Park. They didn't tell me what it's known for or anything. Oh, that train is loud, or that truck is loud. I think it's just your normal, average, everyday park. It's just one of the stops here to kind of show you what this city's all about. And yeah, let's see what's up next. What do we have up next? My Pueblito, my Pueblito, Carrero, and Con. I have absolutely zero idea what the hell that is. I don't know if it's a park, a museum. I got no clue. Here's the yacht club right here. Damn, buddy. You gotta be spanky to be part of the yacht club and the yacht club tower. That's definitely not me, not right now. I actually think my hotel is somewhere over here. Oh, it is, there it is, right there. The Infinity Hotel, the only black building. The monument to Vasconius de Balboa is made by Spanish sculptors in bronze. Spanish sculptors. It is located on a globe of terracios, located on four figures of humans desnudas, that represent the races. 
So that Here's is an number three on our list. Make a few more favorites representing the Indy races. En su mano izquierda, la bandera de España, en la otra empuña su espada con vista hacia el horizonte sobre la bahía de Panamá. In the left hand have the Spain flag and in the other have a swarm looking towards to the horizon into the Bay of Panama. Guys, it's like a perfect day out too. It's around 3 p.m. It's cloudy, the sun isn't baking you. It's, it's pretty nice right now, I gotta say. I gotta admit, I'm enjoying it. This place is cool. See, that's kind of where I want to be. Vamos a estar pasando por I want to be in the middle of all the locals. You know how I like to do it. Donde I'm not always all about the tourist spots, but yeah, check it out. These events happened on the 9th of May. That's another thing. They have casinos everywhere over here. Cuando un grupo de estudiantes wow, del Instituto that. Nacional trataron de izar la bandera Everybody panameña with their clothes everywhere. estadounidense en la zona del canal, this, this territorio en ese entonces controlado por los Estados Unidos. <laughs> right, Sin embargo, al llegar a los predios de la famosa escuela de Balboa, oh, la izada de la bandera no les fue permitida. Wow, it's crazy, guys. You drive just Entonces, 10 minutes inland and everything completely changes. changes. It goes from super nice to really like, you know, deep into the neighborhoods to see how your average people live. Whoa, guys, check it out. Check it out. We're at another stop. Mi Pueblito. Where are we? Mi Pueblito. Stop number three on this list. What is this about, anyways? Guys, I should go sit below with the ladies so I can ask her a million questions. But the scenery down there sucks compared to up here. When you're up here, you kind of experience more because you're kind of out in the open and you're not encaged by windows, you know? But I can say, you got to watch out for branches on this thing. I've been slapped in the face already one time. Okay, next stop. Next stop. Let's see, let's see. Esculusas. Esculasas de Miraflores. Something like that. We'll see. We'll see. Like right here, guys. Look. If I would have had my face out there, I would have got smacked right in the face. Sorry, guys. The video is kind of all over the place. We're just hitting one spot to the next, one spot to the next, and I never know exactly, whoa, and I never know exactly when we're gonna be coming up to another spot. And it's kind of hard to, I can hear her, but I, I can't understand what she's trying to say sometimes, you know? So it's a little difficult for me, so just bear with me here. I think I need another shot. Wow, guys, check out that thing over here. Whoa, what is that? That's got to be on the stop. She's got to say something about that. The lado izquierdo, in the left. El monumento en honor a la democracia hacia el expresidente, el doctor Arnulfo Arias Madrid. A monument wow, dedicated so to the expresidente, cool. the doctor Arnulfo Arias Madrid, is okay. a tribute to the democracy. So it kind of looks like a genie lamp, but that's probably not what it is. Él fue presidente en tres ocasiones. Well, I don't know what these are, apartments, but... It's kind of weird. They have every single window just barred off like you're in prison. Even the top floor windows. Uh, besides these people, I think they're good at the top. At the bottom, no way. We gotta, we gotta cage that shit off, man. This is a, like an apartment complex, right? I'm not looking at a prison, am I? Oh wait, maybe it is a prison. It says Justica something. I can't read that, but just because like the justice system. So maybe it is some kind of a type of low scale prison or jail or whatever you want to call it. Well, guys, look at that. It's the administration. So we are inching closer and closer to the site that I've wanted to see for a long time, which is the Panama Canal. I don't think we're going to be getting off the bus, but I think we'll be able to Bahua, see it. Oh, the the bus. Bus. And here's the local airport for all the rich people with their private jets and little planes. 
Marcos Guerrero International Airport at Abu Mall. That is the next stop. The port, the port near airport. Right Nuestra parada la hacemos en el pasillo azul, que es el pasillo de. Oh my God. Whew. Okay. I think I now feel that alcohol. It is now kicking in like an hour later. I blame all that food I ate, just soaking it all up, and now I'm finally digesting it. Uh, let's see, where are we? Uh, Rocha Mall. I'm guessing this is some big ass mall over here. Oh, and people are getting off right here, okay. The Marriott, what the hell? There's a hotel over here? Oh, I know this area. I remember when I was searching hotels, these are the hotels that are close to the Panama Canal. So, yeah, makes sense actually. Murió en 1952. Pasó a llevar el nombre de Marcos Gelaber en 1999. Wow, they got a Papa John's, a Krispy Kreme, and a Wendy's here? Dude, they got all the American chains here. So if you're from America and you want to come to Panama, you'll feel right at home. Guaranteed. The visitor center, the swimming shop at the islands, is already open after the minute. The moment we've all been waiting for. We're coming up on the Panama Canal. Oh, wait. And oh, no. sometimes with a little oh, lucky, you can see here. alligators in the water or in the rocks. Oh, sometimes you can see alligators in the water here. Or laying on the rocks, she said. What about over here? Oh, I don't see nothing yet. I see a couple birds. So don't go swimming in there. A gator might get you. Hello. Hola. You English? Yes. So, um, I can get off now and go explore? Yes, but you have to wait the last bus. And when is the last bus? At 420, 430. That is in... Oh, about an hour. Yes. Okay, and the next bus stops right here? Right here, yes. Okay, I'm getting off. Let's uh, go. Get off up here. All right guys, next bus is at 4.20 or 4.30. So, fuck it, you know, we're here. We have to go explore the Panama Canal, which is known worldwide. Got our ticket. Kind of a strange price at seven at 17.22. Why not make it just like an even number? You know, I feel like it would be so much more easier and convenient if it was just like a flat out 18 instead of 722. I guess that covers every little cost that they have. So, yeah, guys. Now we're coming up into a uh, a uh, a visitor center. Hola, hello. Where do I go? What's up here? What's over here? Do you want to see? Do you see the video? No, not yet. The video is to the left. How long is it? 45 minutes, but. Oh, start 45. At four, start at 4 p.m. If you want to see the, the oh, chip, I can't, I can't make it. If My you want bus. To see the chip, you go to the right. Okay, press it. Thank you. Okay, so I can't see the video. I literally just don't have enough time. My bus leaves at like 4:20, 4:30, and uh, it's just not, it's not feasible right now. So yeah, there's the theater. They have like all kinds of snacks through here, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to get a snack right now. I'm going to go check out the damn canal, which I think it is this way. Pretty sure everybody's, whoa, there's a big line over here. Well, let's just hope I don't miss the last bus. Okay, guys, I guess we do have to go through somewhat of a security thing. So I might lose my bottle. <laughs> it is what it is though. Good thing it was only like nine bucks. 
We made it. I had a technical difficulty. The GoPro is acting uh, really strange right now. I've never had the screen black out like it did. Here it is, guys. Here's the Panama Canal. Here's one of the greatest engineering projects in Panama. How cool is this? Oh my guys, look at everybody standing up there. It's all fresh water. Señores. So, yeah, honestly, it's kind of one of those places to where you're just like, okay, I'm here at the Panama Canal. That's it, you know? It's kind of one of those deals. It's like, wow, that's it, really? <laughs> but, you know, I'm kind of glad I came here. It's pretty cool to see. It's one of those uh, places that you can just say, oh yeah, I've been there. But to be here, it's just, uh, it's okay. It's just okay. Um, here, you want to see uh, where it starts? I'm guessing that we cannot go up many floors, which is why everybody is stuck. Oh, and the first floor. Ladies and gentlemen, so, this is basically an aquatic elevator. Uh, here we go. The Panama Canal, an aquatic elevator. He said it, not me. This is all artificial. Of course it's all artificial. Oh my god. I don't think we can go any higher than where we're at right now. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. And all the people, all the madness. Well, that's kind of a better view. I don't know what this is though. It looks like some kind of vehicle kind of goes through here. Um, I don't know, let's see, wow, there's so many people here, it is so bad. Oh, those are the gates opening for a ship to come through. I'm tall, but I still can't see anything. <laughs> There's floodgates over here and they're opening for a sailboat to come through. Wow oh, guys, check it out. There's a sailboat going through the Panama Canal. There he goes. And I just heard him over the intercom. He said he pays about a thousand dollars just to cross through the canal. Isn't that insane? A thousand bucks. Boom. Just like that. Just to cross through a man-made structure. Just so you can reach the other side of the ocean. From the Atlantic to the Pacific. Wow. Costa Rica! Here we go, guys. Another ship coming through. That's a big one. And they have machines pulling it instead of, you know, people just with ropes controlling it like they were on the sailboat. You got it all up here. Hoy espectacular. Locomotora pesando 55 toneladas. Ahí la vemos. All right, guys, that pretty much sums up what goes on at the Panama Canal. Not very, not as exciting as I thought it was going to be, but, you know, it's something cool to see. Here's the different boats that go through. But I can't believe that sailboat had to pay $1,000 just to go through this. That's, that's a grip. All the workers on the ship over here. I can't imagine being out on sea that long. That's crazy. Oh shit, this guy dropped his phone. Oh, what a ding dong, dude. As you can see, they use cables to kind of guide the ship through the canal over here. And like I said, that, that's a big one, dude. That's a real big one. I got here just in time. First, I got to see that little sailboat way over here. And then now this big ship. And I don't know why the sailboat is just kind of chilling there. That big ship is just right behind it. If you want to see that thing go down that little slope, there you go. Nice, steady, and slow. The 
Panama Canal adventure is over. Now I have to wait for the bus and we finish the bus tour. I think, uh, I don't even, uh, actually we might have hit about halfway on the bus tour. So when it arrives, I'll hop on that thing and we'll finish the tour. Okay guys, we're back on the bus. And look, we're in the top floor and nobody is here guys. It's just me only. The Panama Canal, from what I can uh, say, is it was okay. It's one of those things where you get there and you're just like, oh, okay, that was it? All right, cool, Panama Canal, Panama Canal I've seen it, check. And I'm kinda ready to move on now, you know? We'll go find something else even cooler. Maybe, uh, I don't know. I'll just see what the day brings, what the week brings. Who knows what kind of adventure we'll end up on. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Or see you actually in a little bit as soon as we take off. Peace. Look at all this traffic. We are stuck in absolute madness right now. I just wanted to enjoy my tour, not sit in traffic for an hour. Man, but I'm having fun, dude. This is cool. I'm literally the only mofo on this bus right now. <laughs> nice. I think we're gonna be going along this bridge right here, which is super cool. I forgot the name of this city. I wanna say it's called like a Chorillo or something. I'm not 100% sure, but wow, this is kind of amazing right here. We're just cruising along the bridge that's like halfway in the water. And look at even like, Look at the buildings on stilts in the water. That is too cool. Hola, como estas? Good. Good, good. <laughs> All right, man, we got some great hospitality here. Hola, como estas? Even the cops are friendly. <laughs> hey. And actually, it looks like the bus gets to go kind of on the fast track here, which is great for me. We don't have to get stuck in all this crap. Even though I'm literally the only guy on this bus right now. Hey, como estas? You got the street vendors walking in and out of traffic, doing their daily job, just trying to make a living. I like it, man. What I really like is that you're allowed to do this. The police don't care if you're trying to make a living selling stuff to people in traffic, which is awesome. If you were in the United States, the cops would shut you down real quick. And to me, that's fucking bullshit, you know? That's nice no one's on here, but it's shitty because... <clears throat> I'm literally doing the tour... Right at the time when traffic is the worst. Right when everybody's coming home from work. So... Yeah, man, it is what it is. I can't do nothing about it. So I'm just along for the ride at this point. Along for the ride and uh, checking out all these locals, man. They're all headed home after a hard day's work. And they're still friendly. You know, they're waving their hands. They're saying, hey, what's up? So it's pretty nice. Wow, the police women here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Policia chica, very nice. <coughs> Guys, I think I'm losing my voice too. <laughs> oh wow, look at this girl. See, that's what you gotta do. You gotta be a hot girl. You have to be a super hot girl selling stuff. Oh, look at that guy. That's one good way to make money. You gotta be a very attractive girl with your little cart of goodies going through traffic because all the men will want to buy from you. Mostly because they want to talk to you. <clears throat> Man, I feel like I got something caught in my throat. But it's not budget. I don't know what it is. I don't know where we are. I think because... I think because I'm the last person on this bus, they're not even getting on the intercom and, like, telling me any information. Which really sucks, but... Here's a bio museum. I mean, that's pretty cool. I figured they'd tell me exactly, uh, you know, what's inside besides it being just a bio museum. But uh, it looks like this road right here goes all the way to this island over here, which is super cool. 
there's the city in the distance. La Vida Bella. So that's what that area is called, La Vida Bella. And let me go on this side. And as you see, it's like a bunch of restaurants and little shopping areas. And again, you can rent all kinds of bicycles and everything right here. What, ATV rides? What the heck? Where the hell do you go over here that has ATV rides? Wow, what a trip. I want to know where you take an ATV ride at over here. Okay, guys, now we're kind of nearing the end over here. That's pretty much what this whole island thing is, is uh, it's pretty much like a yacht harbor, a place with hotels and restaurants, and like a nice little uh, harbor walk, a walkway or a place where you can ride your bike that's right next to the water. So, yeah, if you like that stuff, you can come here or you can stay at this resort. You know, either way works. There's the Panama sign. Here's a duty-free shopping center. All the yachts. You can stay in a hotel. You can go to all the restaurants, all the little souvenir shops. You can rent bicycles and you can walk absolutely everywhere. That kid was waving to me. Hey, look at these boats. Or look at these yachts. Isn't it a trip how they like put them on stilts like this? How do they move them around? Oh, that big machine. Wow, I would love to see. I would love to see how they do that. That is too cool. Isn't this beautiful? Now we're headed back into the city. It's been a fun journey today, guys. I really enjoyed it. Wow, she's friendly. Got some crazy ass fucking hair though. Oh my God. I guess I shouldn't be talking. I mean, I'm pretty fucked up myself. It's okay though, we got a hat. And, actually I need to turn it this way or my hat's gonna blow off. Look at the water, it's actually a lot clearer here than it is on the coast in the city. Guys, I cannot believe I fucking lost my hat. This is the second one I lost while I've been traveling. I'm so sad, that was my favorite one too. It just went just completely blew off. I didn't even stop him. I just said F it and just kept going. So we'll go do a market hunt and we'll go find another hat. That's another video I can make. So there's some positives out of this, which is really good. Anyways, we're at this market now or this food place, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but uh, yeah, now I definitely need to get a haircut because the hair is looking a bit wild right now. And uh, it's kind of nice. It kind of keeps me from wearing a hat, which is what I like. So now, uh, yeah, maybe we'll make a haircut video next. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, guys, there goes the bus. I just finished the tour. Hatless now, I have no hat. It blew off. It's fucking long gone. <laughs> so now, I don't know what to do, man. I guess we make our way back to the hotel, maybe go get a haircut. Um, do a little something, something, you know? So we're gonna make our way towards that way. And hopefully uh, we can find a barber or something that'll cut my hair. I might as well get a cut right now. As a matter of fact, that's where I had sushi the other day. And uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I think I did see a barber over there. Hola, Hola. como estas? Um, oh yeah, there is. You can see the little spinning thing over there. So that's where we're gonna go. I wonder how much they charge. This is like kind of a Gucci area right here. Let's see how many people are in here. Uh, let me see, let me see. Ah, uh, here we are. Oh, uh, it's nice. Nice and cold in here. Mm. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna turn you off. Oh shit! There goes my glasses. I got it. Gracias. Okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you off. Peace. What do you think of the new cut? I like it. It's kind of like the one I got in Vietnam a while ago. So, what are we gonna do now? The day, as you can see, it's almost over. It's dusk. Going to the mall. Gonna try to find a hat store. I need a hat, your boy needs a hat. Because during the day when I film, you know the sun is always blaring down on me and my face turns beet red. So when I have a hat, that's why I always wear a hat. It helps with that a lot. It helps with uh, the sunburn, kind of the glare coming down on me. So yeah, hopefully we can find something in here and uh, we'll be good to go. We're actually back at the same mall that we started at earlier today in the video. And uh, now I'm trying to find a sombrero, a hat of, Kind of similar, actually pretty much exactly what I had last time. Just the snapback, the trucker hat style, cause that's my favorite. I kind of like the breeze back there. Um, all I could say is I don't think I'm gonna find it. Like I said before, this mall is zombified, dude. Nobody is here. All these places are closed. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell, dude. I'm probably gonna have to go up a couple floors to really find anything. Look, there's a motorcycle place right there. Um, maybe they'll sell something that I'm somewhat interested in. Mission failed. I didn't see a hat that I liked in sight anywhere at all. So now, uh, yeah, I, I kinda know not to come here again. As far as today goes, it's the middle of the week. It's a Wednesday night. I don't think anything happening is gonna be happening. What does this red light mean? Does that mean it's like dead? I think the next bird I see, we're gonna rent. We have done it. We have unlocked a scooter. Oh, there it goes. We're at 80%. I am pretty buzzed right now, I'm not gonna lie. So, is there anything against drunk riding a scooter? Uh, I don't know, man. I have no idea. But, I don't know, it's pretty weird riding with one hand, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if this is the alcohol or if I just can't ride a fucking scooter, I don't know. But it's already difficult with one hand, that's for sure. Especially this battery powered scooter because when it takes off It literally just wants to go and it kind of Yanks you all about you know, but in my opinion, I think this is one of the better ways to get around It's cheap You could do whatever the hell you want And I'm gonna continue riding this scooter To my hotel which is way down here where that building is over there Right here but inland a little bit. So let's see how this goes. I'm kind of curious to zip around and see what this town is like. Guys, this is a really good way to get around on the scooter. I'm not sure how much of this you can see. Let's jump this, Woohoo! But, oh shit. Wow, I did not see that curb coming. Anyways. I'm having fun just cruising the city on this thing. I tell you what, it beats walking by tenfold. I'm surprised these things aren't like destroyed yet. Whoa, where, where the hell am I? Oh, I guess we go over here. Right where the crosswalk path is. We gotta follow the rules here in old Panama. We can't always be doing this. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, amigos. 
and they wait for you too, which is nice. You know, I guess I'll cross over right here. Hey, look, check it out. You guys want to see a local, is this a softball game? I think so. It's a softball game. Check it out. Imagine the stuff you run into when you're on a scooter cruising around Panama City. Maybe we can join. Who knows? Who knows? Hola, como esta? <laughs> okay, guys, I think we should uh, possibly continue to a restaurant. You know, I'm, uh, I finished that bottle and I'm feeling pretty good right now, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, what does this guy have right here? What is that, an icy? I don't know. I don't know. She's going over there. Let's see what he has. Let's see what he has. Snow cones. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't really look too appetizing. So I'm going to clip you guys to my chest and we're going to keep them moving on. Let's go. I think that about wraps up the video. It's nighttime. We all know the GoPro sucks in the dark. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, that's it for you tonight. But for me, I'm probably gonna go out on the town and see what it's like here in old Panama City at night. But until then, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you. Peace.